Here we go. I'm back. Yes, I'm here at Four Faces. Yes, 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 yes. And what I'm going to do today, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to say it once. I'm going to say it again. But I'm going to test out these two robotic arms. I got that Dubai magician. Like it's a magician, like magic act. And then I got that you arm. I should say you arm Swift Pro. Because it's supposed to be, I guess, the top of the line right there. And um, we're going to do the test today. We're going to do that test. Yes, yes. I told you we're going to do it. We're going to do it right okay, now. Okay, so to do this test, like I said before, is we're going to see how accurate is these robotic arms. So right now, I'm starting off with the U-Arm Swift Pro, and I'm going to program it. And I just want to show you right now that in, um, in my medical book, you can see that the letters are extremely small. That's why I picked this book, because the letters are so small i mean like really like i don't know like you really take you gotta take your time and read it so it's that small but it's a good way of testing the accuracy of these uh robotic arms so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to use the teach and learn feature in order to see the accuracy so let's begin let me set this up got my computer here and i'm going to use the software we'll talk more about the software a little bit later I'll do a special episode on that, how good or bad, rather, the software might be. So I'm just going to hit start record. The arm is now ready, and I can begin. So I'm going to do a couple of motions here. I'm going to bring it down to the, the letter. No, you know what? I'm going to bring it over to the 24, because that's really small. 24 is going to touch that. I'm going to pick itself up. It's going to move over to the is. Oh, you got to move it to the is. The word right there. It's going to go there. It's going to go pick up again. It's going to go. I'm going to force it to stretch itself all the way down. Because I want to really see how accurate this thing is. So I'm extending the arm all the way. And it's going to touch the N. No, touch the A of effects cover the whole word of effects so now I, what i did was by me forcing it i'm seeing if these gears that they added to this robot is really going to help with this precision so let's see what happens then it's going to come back it's got to make sure it doesn't hit the book so i'm really i'm really extending this forward and backwards i'm really having this arm stretch itself because you know in the commercial it may look like, you know, it's very accurate. I'm not saying it isn't, but it was just basically going backwards and forward. So now I'm stretching it out. I'm really testing this thing out. I really want to find out how good it is. Okay, so now I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit finish. And now it's locked. So I'm going to set it one time first just to make sure it runs through the paces. Then I'm going to set it to 10 times and see what happens. So... Let's go. I'm going to hit play. And now let's test it out. Let's see what happens. It hits the 24. It hits the is. And it hit the effects. Perfect. So it hit, it touched every word that was in, um, that I told it, word and number, for that matter. So now I'm going to change it to, I'm going to put 10 times and see how it works out. Okay. Hit play. So let's see it do it. Hit 24. It is. Should hit effect now. Come back. The thing that's different between this one and um, the Dubot you're going to find is that when you watch the U arm go through its motion, I've noticed that the Dubot actually vibrates when it's moving. I don't know if you can see that in this video, but I noticed that it vibrates a lot. You know, it's not as smooth. It's not, I mean, it's good. It's hitting the letters, everything that uh, I programmed it to do, and it's doing a very accurate job. So if you're talking about precision, it's there. 
And we up to number three already. And it's still, it's working out very well. I mean, it's really, really good. It's hitting everything, just like I programmed it to. So it's not a matter of it's not being accurate. But it does, it do a lot of, vib- it, uh, you know, it's just like it's, it's like vibrating at the tip. Which um, I'm not too happy with that. But it's getting the job done. I can tell you that much. And it's hitting every letter accurate every single time. Hitting the little words there, very small words. I mean, it's it's definitely accurate. So if we're talking about the gear, the ratios and all that, it's really accurate. Um, I don't, uh, I'm going to let it run out up to number five. So let's see what's going to go on here. Still hitting it. Very good. I mean, it's it's really accurate. So yes, even though it, the the arm um, it seems like it's vibrating a little bit, um, it's not affecting how precise it moves. So that's a good thing. Uh, probably I could I could probably um, change that, you know, by doing fine adjustment. Because what I see, what I notice here with the um, the U arm, is that you're moving it. It's not like you're programming every step. It's like it programs the whole motion. So even if I move my arm a little or slightly, it's it's actually recording that. And I think that's why you see the little jittering in there, because it's like if my arm is shaking a little bit or moving a little bit, it's actually recording that. Every little motion from my hand, from my movement, is being recorded. And you're going to see that the do-bot don't do, doesn't, as I said, doesn't, um, it doesn't record that type of way, let's just say. And you're going to see. All right, so we're up to number eight. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, like I said, it's vibrating a little bit, but it's actually, because it's actually recording every motion that I made with my hand. All right, so it's still doing a very good job. Still doing a very good job. I mean, it's 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 really great. I mean, I got no complaints when we're talking about the accuracy. Very good. It's hitting every, it hit the 24 on point. It's not hitting the book when it goes down. It's stretching his arm out. Even though I'm forcing it to stretch, it's doing a magnificent job. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hit the 24. Hit the, hit the is. Boom. Hit the, go back, move around a little bit. Hit the effects. Boom. See that? So, it's hitting it. It's recording. So, like I said, it's little, it looks jittery because what's happening is recording every single slight motion I made. And you're going to see that the Dubai, um, it's, it's recording, it's teaching, learn feature. It's a little bit different and implemented different than um I would say the Dubot. So, I'm going to turn this off and we're going to start the Dubot test. So, let's begin. We're going to talk now about that Dubot. Now, listen. You see that? You've seen the U-arm. The U-arm is so accurate, so precise. I mean, it's amazing. The only thing I didn't like about that U-arm was that there was some jittering going on. But I understand. I don't hold it against the U-arm. And the reason for that jittering was because the fact is that it records every little motion that your arm made. And that's why. So that's not a big deal. However, you can always trim that program. You can always edit that program through the software. So that's not a big deal. However, with that being said, I will say that it was still very precise. Now, with the DoBot, its um, teach and learn feature is implemented a little bit differently. And the way you do it here is that every time you click this button, it records that that position. It's not recording every movement I make. So if I move my hand this way or that way, it's not recording that. What it records is only the positions in which I click. So it it has its advantage in that. And the advantage, I would say the most uh, distinctive advantage is that the arm tends not to jitter. So that's the advantage there. So, you know, it's a little tedious, too, because now you move your hand. You got, if I move my, this arm one way, it, it records. I got to click it. Then I move another way, I got to click it. Click. So every movement I make, 
it's going to be clay. <laughs> so let's get down. So let me just show you. So I'll talk enough. So here we go. So I'm just going to go to any letters. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is just go here. I click. Move. That first motion I just made, I click. So now this position is being recorded. So now I'm going to move it again. I'm going to have it touch the letter, the word rather. Release. Click. Pick it up again. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way. Here again. Click. Pick it up. Click. I'm going to stretch out the arm here. Move it a little bit here. Move it a little bit there. Make the arm, force the arm go. Extend itself as much as possible. I'm going to click it there. Then I'm going to bring it down here. Click it. Then I'm going to pick it up. Click it. Click it. You get the point. <laughs> and then that. All right. So let's see what happens. So now I got the DoBot software. And I'm going to run the program. Click start. And then it's going to run. All right. So simple enough. It's just that you, when you click in and go in, it's just a little, it's a little tedious. And, but it's accurate. That's one thing I will say. It makes it a little bit more accurate and you know exactly where you're going. You know, where it's going to go in each motion. Okay. So there we go. It's running. It's doing exactly what I told it to do. Hitting every word in the book. Boom. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Come back. Hit the word again. It's doing it 10 times. It's doing, it's doing what I told it to do. Very good. And cough. Come down there. Come back. Doing everything I told it to do. Hit the cough again. Come back. Moving around a little bit. So this thing is very accurate. Um... The question really becomes which way the teach and learn feature is better for you. I find that the DuBot, one thing I do like about the DuBot teach and learn is that you know exactly where it's going to be at what time it's going to be. So that's that gives it an advantage um, compared to the you uh, uh It just records every motion you make. And it's a dis the disadvantage is that, like I mentioned before, is that you get that slight jittering going on because it's recording literally every mo motion you made with your hand. Where the DuBot, it's more, I I'll say kind of more like linear, whereas the U-Arm is more like analog, where it changes, you know, according to your motion. So it did it, no problem. So there you go. Both of them, the DuBot and the U-Arm, they're very, both of them are extremely accurate, very precise, and um, I like them both. Um, now, like I said, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. The the advantage with the um, Dubai is that you don't have that jittering going on, and it's much more linear, meaning that you will know exactly where it will be at every single position. But the UOM in return is that the way you implement that teach and learn feature is that you just press record and it re literally records every little motion you make. And the disadvantage to that is that you get that slight jittering at the end. But nonetheless, doesn't matter how it's being implemented, I will say that they both are extremely precise and their specs live up to what they said they were. So on that note, we will be back. We'll come back. We'll talk a little bit about the software and see if we can find something that really separates these two products but right now they seem to be neck and neck tied to tie so leave a leave you know talk about it give me some notes say what you gotta say with that being said four faces peace